Um, so I wasn't planning on coming today because I wasn't feeling great. Uh, I know it's not physical, it's spiritual. And so uh, I just kept hearing the Lord say, some of you all are wondering why you're even here. God knows why you're here. God got you here today. He wants to speak to you. He's already speaking to you as you're here. Um, I, I, I saw the Lord show me a roller coaster. And the past two years have been a roller coaster for most all of us. But I felt the Lord say, for the true and the faithful, the ones that are just trying, you don't have to be perfect, but the ones that are trying, he's going to level out your roller coaster. And so uh, it, it might not even look like what you think leveling out looks like, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to get level. And so, uh, but the only way it's going to get level is you're going to have to do your part. And whether that means uh, do what Lonnie's getting ready to do, which is proclamations, proclaiming truth, whether that means getting the word, whether that means calling a friend and being honest and saying, I need prayer today because I'm struggling like I had to do this morning. Um, whatever that looks like. But you are going to have to do your part. That's going to be a part of it for this year to come. You can't just sidestep what Jesus is trying to tell you to do because it's just going to get tougher if you try to sidestep. He's just, and you don't have to do a ton. He just asks you to do a little. Some days that's just show up. And so, uh, you know, in our weakness, what does his word say? His strength works best. So some days you just got to show up. But you do have to do your part, which means show up. Sometimes it's painful, and we don't know why we're going through what we're going through. God has a plan. He doesn't do anything randomly. Nothing he does. You sitting here today is not random. It's divine. Every part of your life is a divine plan. Even the pain is divine. I know that sounds so weird. Why would God put me through this pain and confusion? He is not the author of confusion. That is from the devil, okay? But the more that you show up and when people speak into your life and you walk into it, God's going to do something with that because he sees your obedience. And so something I wanted to start the year out with was proclamations. What is a proclamation? It's proclaiming God's truth over your life. The enemy has lied to every one of us, and especially the past two years. It's been on like Donkey Kong for everybody in here. And here's what's crazy. A lot of it's been a mental battle. It's not necessarily been physical for some of us it has, but it's been mental. It's been right here. Because every day you've heard some kind of lie. You're not worthy. You're not trustworthy. You're a bad person. You're pathetic. You're, um, you're not good. You make bad choices. Your life's not going to change. You're going to go in the same vicious cycle. Those are all lies in the name of Jesus. And I know why the enemy came after me last night. Because I told him this year, I laughed. And I said, this year, I'm going on the offense instead of being on the defense. Yeah. And so he hates that because he knows when he sees true people that are trying in some way, shape, form, or fashion, he hates it. He hates it. And so he knows that the people that he is cleaning up, it's going to be so much different than it used to be. Because the things that used to hit us up like a Mack truck and tear us down and weigh us down, it's not going to be the same. And so uh, Lonnie's going to do a proclamation. Proclamations are the word of God spoken and when we speak God's word into existence, it says it cannot come back 
null and void. And what that means is it has to set out and accomplish what his word says it will do. So it can't, when you speak it, and you have to speak it out loud, you can't just speak it in your mind because the enemy has to know who you are and who you're claiming you are. So then he has no legal right to keep talking to you the way he's been talking to you. And so be, be serious when you do this, this proclamation today because we're going to proclaim that we're walking into new this year. Before I do that, I want to just mention the clean your pipes, okay? Um, if you plan on doing this, let Pastor know or me know or Wendy know that you want to do this. If you don't have the $30, let us know. We will take care of it. We want everybody that can go, go. Because I'll tell you what, my life has been changed because my pipes are clean. And I had a woman prophesy over me one day, and she said, people are going to wonder how you do what you do. It's because you have clean pipes. You know, that was about 20 years ago. So, and now I have a clean pipes ministry. But what we do is, when you do this, do you struggle? Does anybody struggle with anything? Just a couple? Okay. Um, it struggles? <laughs> do you, you know, do you have these battles going on? Do you have constant things going on in your life and you're wondering, what in the world is going on in my life? We're going to deal with all these things. Each Tuesday, we're going to deal with an aspect. It's not just forgiveness. That's just one little part. What about the spoken word? What about the words you speak? There's power in your words. We're going we're gonna to teach how to, how to, you know, and what does the word say about the word? So um, it's very powerful. And uh, at the end, that Saturday, we're going to have one, we're going to have ministry. We're going to have a ministry team here to minister to you. Um, if you can come, I, I wouldn't miss it for the world. If you're hungry, you want to change, like Wendy said, is this year to change and, and get free? Or you can live in your stuff if you want. I mean, um, not me. I, I, every time I do this, I learn something new. God shows me something new, and, and I continually ask him to clean my pipes. So please, let us know, because it's going to start on the 10th. We have to order books, okay? And um, they have to be paid for, too. So just let us know. Uh, you won't regret it. I'm going to guarantee that. Okay? All right. We're going to do prayers and decrees. Okay? Um, we're going into this year. We want to, you know, I know the world has this thing they call manifest. You know, that's new age. But they only copy God. They only copy God. What? Sowing and reaping, speaking the word out. You know, the word has power. The word does not go out void. Okay. So that's what we're doing. We're praying God's words. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, read the scripture, Psalm 138, 8, and then um, I'm going to make a decree, and then if you agree, just say it, agree it with me, okay? But we did this last night. There was, oh, Last night for women. Women, did we have a good time last night? <laughs> it was powerful. It was powerful. The presence of God was so strong. So, the Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Everybody want their purpose fulfilled? Your mercy, O oh Lord, your mercy endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. That's, a, that's one, of the de, one of the prayers. So I decree I'm advancing in my destiny. If you believe that, let's say it. I decree that I am advancing in my destiny now. <laughs> I decree that I am advancing in my purpose now. <laughs> I'm just adding that. Okay. I refuse. Okay. All right. I hear you. I refuse to dwell on the past. I to dwell Woo. On the past. <laughs> yes. I'm going to say that. Let's say that again. I refuse to dwell in the past. Yes. That's an important one. <laughs> now. <laughs> I decree that I am forward in motion. In now. now. I'm moving. I'm, I'm ad living there, okay. The Spirit of the Lord is assisting me. <laughs> the Holy Spirit's our guide, right? Yes. The Spirit of the Lord is instructing me. Now. now. I hear the Lord. Hear I'm, the his Lord. Child. I'm his child. Whoa. <laughs> The Spirit of the Lord. Hmm. 
I love the Spirit of the Lord. <laughs> Whew. Okay. I walk in the supernatural. Power of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> now. <laughs> We're not afraid. Our God's a supernatural God. The enemy's made it scary and twisted. Our God's supernatural. He makes axe heads float. He does all kinds of things. Okay. Ah. Uh, I will, I'm getting all fired up here. I see the opportunities in front of me. Okay, I will pursue them in boldness. Now, <laughs> I am free from every distraction and past betrayal in the name of Jesus. A lot of you have been betrayed. A lot of you have been hurt. We're free from that. We're declaring we're putting it in our past because what do we say about we're past? We refuse to dwell on it. Didn't we say that? Okay. Okay. The Lord is my portion, my, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Let's say that. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. And that's my mind, will, and emotions. Therefore, I will hope in him. Yeshua. <laughs> Woo, the Lord is my portion. I declare that I am not defined by any relational issues. Let's read that bad boy again. I declare that I am not defined by any relational issues. <laughs> I am not limited by my past pain. Whoa. <laughs> I am not limited by my past pain. Let's say it. <laughs> Woo, whoa. Oh, fire up. I decree that I am released from a string of betrayal. String of betrayal. I'm released. Mm. <laughs> oh. Here we go again. I refuse to dwell in the past. <laughs> oh, you guys got it. All right. <laughs> I command my mind to align with God's promises in, in my life. Now. Mind line up with God's promises. Mm -hmm. I bind any confusion associated with trauma. And I release clarity. Lord, I receive your clarity from the throne room of grace. <laughs> I break all ties and entanglements with past pain and relational issues. I'm going to read a scripture for you. And when you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone so that your Father who is in heaven may also forgive you of your sins. I decree that I let it go. I make decisions to release every person that's betrayed me. I make decisions to release every person who's betrayed me and, I add, and caused me pain. I decree that I forgive and love those who betrayed me. And I know that's hard, okay? I know that's hard. You're decreeing it, it will go. If you keep every day saying, I choose God, I choose. He knows your heart, and it's hard for you. You've been through a whole bunch of stuff, and it hurts, and it hurts real bad. And some people have been through stuff that's just unfathomable. And you can say, how can I forgive? That's just you taking it off your hook and causing you pain and giving it to God and letting him take care of it. That doesn't mean what that person did to you was right. That doesn't mean what that person did to you is okay. It doesn't mean that they're getting away with it. It just means you're taking it off your hook and giving it to somebody else, giving it to God. I Oh, here's a good one. I decree I will walk in supernatural love concerning everyone who's betrayed me. 
Can I tell you that on Christmas Day, and the ladies heard this, but on Christmas Day, God did that supernatural love where I was I was crying so hard, and God just overcame me, gave me supernatural love, and the pain's gone, and I love. He can do that. He's a supernatural God, and he wants us to love. That, again, doesn't mean what they did was right, okay? All right. And again, I refuse to dwell on the past. <laughs> That's a pattern we need to look at in uh, clean your pipes. <laughs> I decree that the chains are broken over my life. Woo. I'm, released I'm released to move forward, to move forward. <laughs> in the name of Jesus. Woo! Good job, church. <laughs> so now we're going to take communion. I'm going to try to make this quick because I know Payne's probably getting tired of picking. So, uh, but, uh. This bread represents Yeshua's body that was broken on the cross for us so we can live eternally with him. And this bread represents healing and the stripes that he took on for us so we could be healed and forgiven. So we take this bread in remembrance of him. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Melacha Olam, Hamotzi Lamim Haaretz. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings us the bread from the earth. And then this juice, this grape juice represents Jesus' Yeshua's blood that he shed on the cross for us. And it is so we can be forgiven and live eternally with him. So we're just going to take a minute to assess what we, if we need to forgive anyone, if we need to ask for forgiveness or repent. So we just, we're going to take a minute to close our eyes and just ask for forgiveness and to forgive anyone we need to forgive. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu, Melacha Olam, Bori Pri Hagafen. Blessed are you, Lord our God, King of the universe, who brings us fruit from the vine. <laughs> 